go, day, uh, day 15, uh, scrimmage today, uh, great turnout, really excited that all the people came out to see the team today. Uh, plus, it's great for them to have the opportunity to play in front of so many of their family and friends. But uh, as far as the scrimmage on the field, it looked like day 15 to me. Uh, they're heavy legged, they're tired right now, they're sore right now. There were times that I thought there were some good things and it looked sharp, and I thought there were some times where it looked really sloppy. You know, some things that we got to get cleaned up, but I, I don't think this one was about. Uh, offensive versus defense. It wasn't a very complicated scheme on either side of the ball. What it was was an opportunity to see these guys come out and get an evaluation, a personnel evaluation, so we could determine our depth charts. Thought they played hard. We got a lot of plays. Uh, I think we got about 140 plays today in the scrimmage. Um, so we got a lot of we got a lot of work. We went long series, uh, trying to get them in. Like we talked about that game shape where they're all going 10 play series. But overall, I'm, I'm pleased with the, the effort and the attitude and the way they're running around out here. We just got to get better as a football team and clean some things up and start to develop that depth chart and really start to hone in what we're going to do and who we're going to do it with as we get ready for NC State. Who stood out to you in your opinion? Uh, you know, there was a couple good plays. I mean, I thought Richie Casey's touchdown down here in the corner was a nice catch, but uh, I, I continue to say every nice play I see, I also say that was our corner. You know, they just got beat. So I don't know that any one guy just really stood out. I thought the quarterbacks did a very good job of protecting the ball overall today. Uh, when you looked at it, they weren't putting the ball in danger from a passing standpoint. I was disappointed we put the ball on the ground a couple times. I thought Tevin King looked good in some plays and bad enough, rusty in others. So uh, kind of like, I mean, right now overall, um, I just see a little bit of every, a little bit of everything. I don't know that it was just one player that I could say, wow, he was really impressive. I think probably one of the things I was most impressed with was the way our two young punters punted the ball. I mean, because I thought they punted the ball pretty consistently in, pre, in the pre-scrimmage today. Depth chart wise, did you see enough to be able to go forward and start setting that up? Well, yeah, I mean, that's what the de that's what this film will be about. I mean, 150 plays, and we'll be grading it probably to about midnight tonight, uh, trying to go through, break down every play, missed assignments, uh, effort grades, uh, production point grades. I mean, we'll put it all together, and then we'll start to look at it and start to formulate our depth chart and who we're going to work with. But yeah, it'll all come pretty much off the scrimmage today. You okay. see, your offensive line seemed to run block pretty well today and struggled to pass block at, at times. Just talk about their play overall. Um, inconsistent. Uh, like you said, at times they look good, come off the ball. I think we get tired. You know, we get tired. And played number eight, nine, ten. I thought both sides really got tired. Uh, a little bit hotter than it's been being out here on the turf. But uh, like I said, play number eight, nine, ten. I thought they got they stood up on both sides of the ball and they weren't as productive as we'd like to be. But uh, I, I think the overall, I'd say inconsistent, you know, is, is the thing that I would say overall and what I saw today out here on the field. I don't think we did anything consistently real well, although when you go back and watch the film, I'm sure there's going to be some great individual efforts that we're going to be able to grow from. A guy that seems to be really stepping up is, is Jakari Jackson. He's had a, a good consistent week. Just talk about his yep. play. Jakari Jackson's had a real good week. Uh, he's done some good things. He made a couple catches today. He's knocking a lot of rust off. He missed spring practice with his wrist, but I think he's had he's had a good week. You know, I don't think he did anything today that was just flashy. You know, but I think he's just getting to the point where he's playing very solid for us right now, and he's definitely put himself in the mix. Now, who's going to start is still going to yet to be determined. But I thought he did some pretty good. I think he's doing some pretty good things this week, and he, I thought he played well today. I know you have to go watch the tape, yep. but uh, the quarterbacks didn't really make too many mistakes. How nope. would you kind of grade them just off what you saw right now? That, I, I thought they did a good job protecting the ball. Uh, they didn't put the ball in danger. They didn't throw it up. If it wasn't there, they rushed for parts, positive yardages, stepped up in the pocket. You know, that was the thing that when you look at Ryan Higgins, probably has been his Achilles heel. He gets in those scrambling situation and puts the ball in danger two or three times. And I think before you can ever learn to win at the quarterback position, you got to make sure you don't get us beat. So you got to make sure you're not turning the ball over. And I thought they did a really good job of that today. Did Ryan do anything in your mind to close the gap between him and I, I, I think it's been close. I, I said earlier that it's kind of been every day. I mean, coming off the field, uh, it's one play here or there that you're saying, wow, he looked really good today or he looked really good today. And I think both of them are in the mix. I think Ryan has gotten better and better every week. And I think that uh, Scotty continued to do, continues to do a good job of protecting the ball, which is why he got the nod at the end of spring.
anything else? He looks more comfortable, Ryan does. Uh -huh. um, you know, what specific improvements has he really made uh, you know, to get to that point? He's not forcing the ball. I mean, he's he is getting more comfortable. He's getting more reps. He's standing behind the line. We've been we, A lot's been made out of all the teamwork that we've gotten, where those guys are standing behind the line of scrimmage, and today we made them live. Anytime you make your quarterbacks live, you hold your breath. You know, you're a little bit worried about it, but I think you can ruin a quarterback knowing that he's standing in a pocket with a red jersey on and nobody's going to hit him. And so I thought they did a really good job, and especially Ryan's doing a really good job of stepping up in the pocket when it's not there, and instead of throwing the ball and putting it in danger, he's running for positive yards. Even if it makes it second and six, that's better than calling 4-3 too deep you know, for our next play call. <laughs> so I, I think he's doing a good job, and that message is starting to get through, and he's eliminating some of those turnover plays. When you look, you, you said you held your breath for the quarterbacks. You probably felt like you needed to be holding your breath for the entire team there for a little while. You know, we had a lot of guys that were on the ground. We had a lot of guys on the ground. I, I worry about a couple of them being serious. Uh, Kentrell Bryce obviously went out with a uh, with a headache. I little worry a little about with a concussion there. You know, we'll, we'll find out how Trent Taylor, Carlos Henderson, how they're going to come out of that. But two young wide receivers that I thought the scrimmage was really important to. Both went out early, uh, one with the lower back and one with the knee. So we're going to have to see how we come out of that. I think Connor Nichols will be fine. Um, Cathcart, I think, will be OK. I mean, Pichon will be OK. Right now, I just I worry about control price, and then we'll just have to see uh, how they're going to respond to treatment and what it's going to look like tomorrow when I get the injury report. Was Taylor the back or the knee? Back. back. Uh -huh. he, he had a productive day up until that point. Yeah, he did. He's been doing some really good things, and he's been rolling with the ones in some situations. And that's why I think today was, uh, was going to go a long way. I mean, and him being able to solidify a position on the field. And same with Carlos. Carlos has been doing some really good things. But um, unfortunately, injury is part of this game. And uh, that's where guys like Jakari Jackson and some of those guys stepping up are going to have to fill in. Who didn't play today? Uh, did Eddie not play? Uh, Eddie did not play. Uh, Eddie's progressing nicely. Eddie had an ankle early. Uh, did not play today, but he's progressing nicely. I would say that uh, right now he's probable for NC State. And right now, the only other one really you've got Paul Turner. Um, Paul Turner. I mean, we've, we've still got to wait on his waiver anyway. Right. Uh, so that one's an unknown. And then uh, Jedrick Pluitt, right now with the knee, is going to be out. The, the six year eligibility guys, I know you, you planned on. Uh, those waivers coming through like yes. they did. Does it? I mean, does it help stabilize it at all? Knowing that case. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, it does. I mean, because you you know you don't want the cloud of doubt hanging over everybody's head, especially theirs. And so for them, I'm 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 really excited. I mean, they're they fit the bill for exactly why the rule was made. If they've lost two years due to injury, so they hit all the qualifications to make it. We expected it uh, to be ruled in the favor that it was. Uh, but it's nice to have that over because until it's finally made, you always have that little seated out. So it's nice to get that eliminated.